powers on our little LED light in the bottom there you can see is flashing a steady about one per second it's in a standard standby mode so it's waiting for a call so once our thermostat calls that we need heat this will start up So what I'm going to do is jump the power out so we can start this in our heat mode. So our combustion motor has just started. up top here that's just started it's going to verify it through the air switch and then we'll start up our gas here through the gas valve and the igniter will start you might hear it even spark this time this one usually fires up so quick that a lot of times you don't even hear it spark but we'll see if we do also notice that the LED light is flashing faster now that it's in a call for heat. So there's the spark, night, and we're off. Now our blower motor has still not started yet. Like I said it will heat up and then it will turn on the blower motor. motor has just started so we are fully operational everything has started and running run for a little bit here and then we're going to remove the jumper wire simulating that the call for heat has been met and we'll go into a shutdown procedure. Okay, so we've just shut off. See our gas has shut down. Now our blower motor is just shut down. Our combustion blower motor I should say. And now the last thing that's remaining is the uh, indoor fan blower. And that will use the rest of the heat, blow it into the house. And once it is cooled down to preset temperature, it will shut off the blower. Sometimes these are actually off a timer, which I think is the case for this, uh, this unit. A lot of them will actually have a thermo disc inside. So when it reaches a certain temperature, it turns on and turns off. I do want to make a note with you guys that on some furnaces, there is actually a door switch. I forgot to mention this before. So if you open up the panel, it will actually shut off power to your furnace. If you're doing a test run with the panel open, a lot of times you're going to have to tape this 
switch shut. If you have a unit that has a blower that's exposed on the lower section, it's advisable to put the panel over that while you're test running it unless you have to access the items that are in that panel. And there we go, we just shut off. And that's a complete run. Now we are now in standby mode and waiting for our next call before heat, cool, or any other operation that we may need.